both you can use both uh, hybrid languages sir there is a mixed population of ug pg phd student as well as faculty member is there and these all students are from north india or they are some people are from south india nah, sir from uh, south also uh, okay some south okay. people is also there so you can okay. use the hybrid language sir okay thank you very much okay uh, i am switching off my camera because of uh, language maybe bandwidth will be issue the ones will be having q and session then i will uh, switch on my camera and then we can directly interact so i would uh, uh, both, you can use both uh, hybrid languages okay sir can you see my slides now uh, yes sir you are sharing but uh, not visible yet yes sir it is visible now okay let me make a I hope now it will be in slide view. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shall I begin, Guru sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Okay. I hope still many students are joining in between. So, yes, sir. I That's why we have delayed sir. the program for five minutes, sir. Okay, no problem. Yes, sir. So this is my first talk at Golgotia Universities, and I hope uh, I know a few of the faculty. They were like uh, once upon a time, they used to be my senior or batchmate. So it's good to uh, at this forum, and I hope it's the beginning of our uh, long-term association. So when I was invited for this call, I have been told that these are the basically BSc and MSc agriculture uh, students, and uh, our focus is entrepreneurial uh, kind of motivation and promotion. Then I realized since Golgotia University is located at Noida, so there should be something for a being entrepreneur. You should always. Uh, look into the what are the potential lies around you so this one crop i think in western up this is one of the major crop potato and in potato what you people can do that i am going to share with you people so my topic is agri entrepreneurship and potato seed production basically so as garos have already given my introduction this is my msc biotech journey uh, academic journey i would say and uh, phd from jadhav university calcutta uh, I, it's a CSIR lab, and then I was at an RCPB in IR Ipus also. Then I got a scholarship for Israel. Then I spent almost five years in Israel. And then this five year postdoc uh, duration actually, this turned me to like entrepreneur because Israel, you know, is known as a startup nation. So when I see, since they do not have plenty of water, they do not have fertile land, still their agriculture is very high tech. And in India, when I see, then all the states are so rich in the biodiversity water very good fertile soil so i had always like uh, enigma why we indians or our indian farmer are not doing a very good agriculture like this country since i was a molecular biologist i was not into the field extension i realized i lack some kind of uh, field exposure so during that time 2011 onwards india and israel has signed mou to establish center of excellence across india until they they have established 29 centers of excellence, which are in two functional, and there are many more are coming. So what they do, the Israeli government, they open the COU center in different parts of the state, because agriculture is a state subject. So they collaborate with the state government, and then they plan. And in Haryana, first center of excellence was established in Karnal, about which I used to read in uh, Israel at embassy. Then I decided, once I'll be back, I need to learn something, how these people are working. So that's why I came back to India and I joined this center of excellence. And after working one year, I saw there are good technology like uh, greenhouse technology, drip irrigation, mulching, soilless cultivation. So many things were there. But the challenge is that farmer is not able uh, to get the, all the information at his land. Because in agriculture, you need to provide hand holding support to the farming community at their land. If some farmer is coming from UP to Karnal, and once he'll be going back to Karnal to UP and he needs some technical advisory or technical know-how, no person will visit his land. They will tell only telephonically. And this is called problem statement. Being entrepreneur, you need to highlight your problem statement. And I highlighted this is a problem in India. 
animal science and plant science you know the plant are sessile animals are mobile so they can go to the hospital the plant cannot go to the hospital so you have to go to the hospital and this is a problem in india that's why our agriculture extension is very poor and that's why our farmer are not very acquainted with the good technology but after working one year i decided now i need a mobility because when i was working with the haryana horticulture department i realized i do not have liberty to visit the farmer field so that's why i started my own consultancy firm and started uh, travel across the country these are the sub accomplishment which already professor has explained me uh, you people uh, yeah the, i when i was in israel i would just say i was very proactive outside the lab also uh, at embassy level at ministry of agriculture level any indian diplomats used to come i used to interact with them so to observe any things i somehow i got a good opportunity from the upper level policy maker level i have been there can i said you see their parliament i was fellow of the alisa center i did several entrepreneurial workshop so this thing i am sharing because you people are still young you people will get several things which activities will be going outside of universities and if you think that is very useful for you you will get good networking please go ahead and join because this ecosystem will help you to grow a successful entrepreneur so my company when it started with 2016 uh, it's basically project consultancy then i realized alone i cannot india is such a huge country can go everywhere so i started a bi monthly magazine eden horti now through which i uh, educate the people and my motto is educate empower and employ and then i realized in uh, agriculture uh, learning by seeing the best practice so when i see israeli agriculture very high tech but i cannot explain here so i take people from india to israel and uh, i customize the agri study tour and i want If we can customize uh, all kind of precision farming technology in India, uh, because in India copy paste does not work. So if you know the basic concept, you will get several ideas. Come back and do in an ind indigenous way. So that should be our strategy. And um, yes, still I am learning, and I am still uh, one of the incubator at Sakas Jammu University, and I am working how we can control microclimate inside the greenhouse, which is one entrepreneur rather than showing only entrepreneur working as a consultant. these two picture i want to say uh, in india especially in the sector of horticulture you have to be very good knowledge about holistic knowledge about the weather because you know whatever tomato you are eating in the market today it's not coming from the plain area it's coming from the hilly area in much of the case similar way potato also so each and every crop is having some kind of crop cycle and that is very good in india somehow god has given uh, some and other way we are getting across the year we are not going to import this kind of thing so that's why potato you are know, one of the crop you know you are agriculture student it's a ravi crop from october to march april it will be the crop cycle but if you see wages score for you this is potato is known as a poor man crop but when you see uh, uh, opportunity means i will say just you see why itc tepsico macken uh, mahindra jtc so many foreign companies are working in potato in india and they are making the money but once up farmer is growing potato then he is always doing protest in front of vidhan sabha that he is not getting good price and all those things so there is somewhere a lacuna why farmer is not making profit with potato but other people are making profit with the potato this was my group in israel and i used to work on the potato there also so that's way i am connecting myself on this talk in potato So these are the some publication which I uh, publish on the potato. I was working on the glycol clot mechanism in potato. When you ever you see the potato, sometimes the skin color is green. So that green potato, if you eat, it will be very bitter in the taste. It is because of solanine and chaconine, a secondary metabolite, as a molecular taste. It is because of solanine and chaconine, a secondary metabolite, as a molecular basis. Uh, all these uh, mechanisms. So I was supposed to decipher the molecular mechanism behind this. I isolated some promoter also, and you can see the tumor is plus specific promoter. So any gene we are going to for uh, prefix with this promoter, that uh, gene will express in only potato tumor rather than other part of the plant. But you know, in India, after Bt cotton, no transgenic was released. So I realized that it is not going to be you know useful or applied in Indian market or in our country. so when i came back to india and i saw this is a reality about the potato farmer whether up uh, uh, punjab and somewhere then i see this is a problem and i am doing something else which is not connecting with the my farmer so 
always whenever because many of you people will go higher studies also so my first suggestion to you people whenever you pursue in higher education please see whether you are doing into the basic science or applied science my submission please focus now the days has come you have to be very applied in in entrepreneurial journey because basic science somebody has researched you will also make research several publication but any farmer will ask you what you are doing for me and when i will get my seat we do not have any answer because for 15 years i had this kind of uh, situation awkward situation i also belong to up and whenever i go up and people ask me dr sir what you are doing when you will give me a seat i do not have any answer because it is not relevant to them so i realized i need to do something different than what i am doing and then i came uh, see in up also because you people are young and from up so you can see some people came from uh, africa and they started to do the same thing potato seed production so it will motivate you this what i am talking and what i am urging it is not something dreamy it is already happening in your area and if some people are from the family uh, farmer background of course they can adopt such kind of practices and i am sure they will make good money so let's begin with the potato introduction as i said it's a poor man crop and lots of people uh, growing it in india and especially in the up and especially in the gangetic plain but now we are having lots of climatic change also so accordingly you have to understand the crop economics of potato and uh, for potato farmer you know major cost is 40 to 50% potato seeds now many people people of agriculture but still many people who are not familiar with the potato seed potato seed is just like a tuber but there are many generation are there so you need to understand which seed it is i know in up the people are growing our farmer potato farmer they are not getting quality seeds and what happens suppose 100 bags of potato they have grown they will put in the cold storage and next year what happen 80 bag they will sell and 20 bag they will use as a seed again but you know in the biology if any seed for multiple year you will use you will lose its uh, disease resistance the lots of diseases will come productivity will reduce and uh, many other issue will come sometime viral disease will be also inherent so you need a good quality of seed and apart from that there are potato two varieties called table purpose and potato processing purpose you need to understand all those things then only you will be able to make a good business because what i learn in india israel people say wherever problem exists the it's opportunity for the entrepreneur so suppose this is a one big problem of up farmer potato grower so i am sure there are several opportunities also for you and some of those opportunity i will highlight so that if you want to pursue you can think about it so in up only uttar pradesh is largest state which grow potato and more than 32% actually they are growing potato exact and i did my phd from west bengal calcutta so i know there are also people who eat uh, uh, potato in the chicken and egg curry also and you need to understand how interesting because why they use in chicken potato but not in the north india Uh, lots of migrants has come from the west bengal and those are mostly they are very poor people but they love non vegetarian food so since they cannot have a you know very high uh, cost it will non vegetarian food so what will they will add potato then the gravy will become thick so that's why when chicken fish egg curry you will eat in west bengal the potato they are using so this kind of uh, social things are also connected with any food habit so when you are entrepreneur and you are working on any crop you should have a holistic approach why these people consume more why we are not eating like that and uh, cpr is similar to apex body of potato seed production and these kind of uh, chip sona 1 2 3 4 they have developed now fry sona and fry om also these are the major five processing variety they have developed so if any person want to begin with any quality whether it's table purpose for farmer or processing purpose you can approach cpr simla and they give uh, 5000 rupees one culture tube and you can multiply it and you can make your breeder seed and then you can begin your journey so this is authentic source of getting any planting material is uh, cpr simla now this image will give you a holistic idea and in india we used to assume that potato is a winter crop and the rabi season and the uc river ganges is across the up and most of the people are growing potato here and then here in bay of bengal also because assam and bengal these people live in odisha also they consume potato very much uh, regular on their diet 
these are the production site also and these are the consumption site also but you see in the whole north in south india and here in karnataka some portion is known as hasan that is area is also known for the potato production so this green color and this thing you can see the yield their productivity and here you see this in gujarat uh, disa mahsana district this has become a hub of potato now why it is so in icr people they never realize that potato can grow in uh, gujarat because it's a winter crop uh, the macken one company they came back to india and decided to do the multi location trial of potato where in which part of india we can grow best quality of potato and surprisingly after 7 year of research trial they realized gujarat is the best place for potato cultivation in haryana and up our uh, production is around 22 ton per uh, acre and uh, but in uh, gujarat they are growing even 46 ton per hectare so you need to understand why it is so uh, why gujarat is having more production almost double than us is because of their soil and because of their climate and that's why you can understand how productivity of any crop is connected directly with the climate in gujarat this portion the land uh, the first thing in the during the winter there will be not any fog the plant uh, the temperature will not go beyond uh, eight or less than eight or something like that so plenty of sunlight they get because there will be not any fog also so if more sunlight more photosynthesis bigger size of potato another benefit they have they have a very uh, loose soil it's called sandy soil so whatever tuberculosis happen they will get very regular shape of this thing but in uh, up or in uh, haryana or in uttarakhand you will go though climate is there but soil texture is not uh, sufficient or uh, you know can uh, beneficially for the potato because uh, in uh, hilly area i have been up to mizoram also you can see here also uh, in mizoram the people are getting around uh, 60 rupee kg potato across the year it's very expensive because that's come from myanmar and uh, i realized why this potato is so expensive here so most of the people they make a uh, cold storage here in assam and they supply in all the northeast portion because in hilly area the soil is very hard and tuberculosis is very difficult you will not get a round potato you will get cylindrical potato a number of tuber will be also less like in uttarakhand you are going one plant can give you hardly four to five tuber but in up if you are going potato easily you can get eight to 10 tuber from per plant so these are all is soil texture is directly connected with the potato uh, yield and productivity so uh, this is a way um, how the company private company they work in india now you know pepsi has a three plant uh, but now they are going to open another one plant in assam uh, the lays pepsi whatever you are eating so there are so many interesting facts about the potato some people see the opportunity but our farmers say this is not a cash crop so there is no profit because they don't know the hidden business model behind this crop now this is another image do potato somehow they grown in different part of Uh, india and you can see where product uh, productivity is high and the productivity is low so this kind of map will help you to understand the agroclimatic zone of potato and more about the climate also very much important because if any potato crop you are growing now suppose somebody want to make early potato harvesting now and we are into september now but the, our temperature is not going below 20 so you can grow potato plant will grow but tuberculosis will not happen so while potato swing to has the better price in the market you need to understand what is the right time to for potato swing so when your temperature will be less than 20 then only you can start potato swing and where in which part of uh, india uh, you will get this thing earlier this is a punjab so that's why in punjab most of the time new potato in the market come in the month of uh, you know december or january so that is from the punjab and they are getting good price why we are paying more price to the new potato than old uh, old potato because in old potato we are doing cipc treatment and uh, starch is degrading into glucose so that is sweet in the taste but the new potato will be not having this kind of uh, you know changes so that's why people prefer the new potato so when companies people work this is just for the your assumption ki rather than growing table purpose potato in india we are growing uh, 54 million metric ton potato every year and our domestic consumption is only 44 million metric ton per year so this crop is already we are growing 10 million metric ton than our consumption 
So that's why you might be seeing most of the time people are just uh, dumping outside the cold storage. So this is our problem. So, but this problem, if you are having, and we cannot export it because it's having lots of water inside, it's quite bulky. So you cannot export it as such. So how you can export it? If you dehydrate it, you process it, then you can make lots of revenue. Even I'm sitting in Karnal, one company is called Goodrich. You can Google it. They are going uh, potato flax, like potato ka atta. They are just dehydrating and uh, they are just, it's like a potato flow and then they are exporting. Apart from chips, French fry, all those things can be made. But these potato are different from the table purpose potato. What UP farmer are going to Furi Baksa, Sinduri, all these things is outdated, more than 20 years old variety. They are not acquainted with the latest variety, latest innovation. So here is a potential for you. If you can educate them, you can get them authentic seeds and just do the trial and show the difference. And then you can process it. Even you can start food technology, uh, you know, microprocessing unit also. So those kind of way also you can generate the income. If you can somehow uh, use it, uh, process it, then you can make more income because in horticulture crop, there is no minimum support price. If you're growing sugar cane, mustard, wheat, paddy, of course, government is giving minimum support price. But in potato, whenever it will be in the month of March and April, farmer has potato, the market price will be less than 10 rupees. This is a big challenge for the potato farmer. They cannot store in their house. So they have to sell in the market. And when the seasonal harvesting starts, the market price is falling down like anything. And those people who have cold storage, you can say corporate or big businessman, they are buying very cheap potato, they are storing it, and then they are selling it. So what our farmer does, they hire them rent basis, and then they slowly, slowly, as per the market price, they sell. And they pay the rental for the cold storage also. So this is the normal economics of the potato farmer. But if you make some kind of good potato, you just change the potato variety and contact some good company. Like I can tell you the Pepsi, they pay 10 rupees, 50 pesa per kg. One of the, my farmer was in Katni, Madhya Pradesh. He was providing to the Pepsi people. So these people, they give their own package of practice, all the fertigation and they buy back. So you have to see whether you are going for the corporate people or whether you are going for the market or you want to process by yourself. So accordingly, you can make your plan. So when any company people like Pepsi, such, such a big company and they are doing this kind of, so you see how many aspects they consider. They have lots of agri inputs company, insurance company, banks, loan, uh, then storage services, and here, uh, government sector, you see NDPGRI, CPRI, these are people are providing the germplasm, best planting material. So you have to consider all those things as an entrepreneur, then only you can minimize your risk. Otherwise, you will not get quality. I have observed most of the time, people buy the seed from unauthentic sources, and those are having a virus. And you know how virus comes? Uh, I think somebody is speaking. Please mute yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Muted, sir. Yeah. So I was telling um, uh, you have to see all those things. And um, uh, I am sure you people are agriculture, but you might be understanding how the white fly and the virus connection is there. Whenever our temperature rise after 26th of January, or you can see it near Holi. All of a sudden, the temperature from low temperature to high temperature, the aphid infestation comes. Aphid are like sap sucking insect, or white fly also sometimes come. So, what happens? They will pierce the cell wall or leaf just to suck the cell sap. And once they will take the cell sap and they will disappear, but those leaves are wounded. And now, this is the best platform for the virus infestation. Virus will be coming and they will be going through the vascular bundle into the tuber place also. So though tuber is inside the ground, but virus has infected our potato tuber. And now suppose you are potato seed breeder, you are making potato seed production and from UP and you have sold somebody Bengal farmer. So what will happen? Those farmer will also grow along with your potato, the virus will come and leaf curl virus will come. All the potato plant leaf will be curly. So while buying any seeds, you should have the virus indexing. And suppose you are an entrepreneur and you want to cross-check whether your seeds are genuine or not, you have to sell some sample to CPRI Simla. They do the virus indexing. There are 13 different kinds of viruses in potato. They will do the PCR 
and they will give the result. If any of the potato virus is present in the tuber, you will get in the report, and that will be scientifically report. In uh, CPRA logo and all those things, so you can uh, easily claim anywhere in the Indian system. So these kind of things you need to take care. Ki how I can get the best quality seeds, or if any private company or any government is also selling, you should ask for the tagging, whether they are genuine seeds or not. Now let's have a little bit comparison between the our uh, Indian climate and the foreign. If you, you know in India is a tropical and subtropical country, this is kind of a global map. And um, these are the temperate country. So Dutch country or European country, they get lots of potato. Their productivity much higher than us. But why it is so? <coughs> because they are having, uh, they are growing potato in summer. We are growing in during winter, and our winter is narrow, only few months, hundred days, one hundred twenty days like that. But their crop cycle is up to one hundred eighty days. And uh, frosting is common here, but there is no frosting. Post harvest loss is also we are having. But the rain also is there, <coughs> but they are not having such kind of problem. So result is that they are getting a very higher yield than us. Uh, you know the McDonald French fry; those are all uh, processing variety potato, and you can see such a big new finger. But in India, our potato will be not that good. Big. So you can understand the market value because of several trades also. Now this is a uh, some trend. How India potato production productivity was there and where we are standing today. So area is like you know it's a limiting factor, million hectare. It is not going to rise with the time. But you see production, of course, we are uh, using some better quality of seeds technology. <coughs> so we have increased our production in terms of the million ton. Our productivity is ton per hectare, which I was talking in Haryana and UP is 22 ton, but in uh, Gujarat is around 46 ton per hectare. So that also will rise, but we are going to focus on that one, how we can make it much more than the traditional potato production, because our population will rise. Of course, we are 10 million metric ton surplus today, but in future, we have to meet the, our uh, domestic demand. So we have to increase the productivity also. Now come, what is a potato seed? For so long time, I'm talking this and that. These two slides will give you all the clear idea. If you are not able to understand my prior slide or the future slide, please focus on these two slides. Generally, in the tissue culture, in vitro plant, micropropagation we do, and that's why we make a, a new variety. A new variety, generally, CPR, Shimla, or some R&D institute they make. This is not your job. You will get the micro plant of the new variety. And now, whatever the tuber will come from this variety, this is called G0 seeds. And G0, you can call it a breeder seed also. And that we grow only into uh, insect proof net house. Why? Because white fly or aphid, those kind of people, uh, insects should not uh, hamper our plant so that our seed will be not get infected with the uh, virus. And aeroponic also, we are doing in a closed system. And when you will harvest the uh, this breeder seed tuber, that will be seed known as G1 seed. And again, this will grow, like you can see, this is a net house. They are growing in the uh, close atmosphere, in uh, close environment. It is not directly in touch with the open environment, just to protect it from the insects. And then whatever G1 you will harvest, then G2 will come. And from G2, whatever will come, this G2 you can do in open field. But here, scouting is very much important. Uh, so when any time you have to do the field survey, then the state seed certifying agencies are there, they will visit your field, and then only they will give the tagging. If there will be not any insect or virus will be in your uh, potato field. And then they will uh, release the advisory. Now, if it has been observed, now you have to do the dehollination. So you will have to spray the all the herbicide so that potato will be curing inside the soil now. So now no need of any uh, chance of any disease infection through the white fly or aphids. In the lab, tissue culture lab, they do this kind of work. And then we just micro propagate, multiply our in vitro plant. In this way, you can see in the jam bottle, the plants are going in vitro plant. And then this comes into the aeroponic unit. I will show some bigger picture where the plants roots are hanging in between air and you can lift it and you can harvest. Mind it, the lots of tutorial in YouTube, you will see aeroponic and hydroponic. This kind of technology at this aeroponic is viable only for the potato seed production. Don't think that any other crop you want to grow and it will be very economical for you. 
the many company they make such kind of thing because they just uh, sell you the instrument and they will disappear why it is so whatever breeder seed you are seeing here like this one breeder seed costs 8 to 10 rupees if it is the table purpose maybe 6 to 8 rupees otherwise processing variety 8 to 10 rupees so that's why you can meet the production cost by selling these mini tuber i have been to some universities in uh, uh, bangalore nearby and uh, i saw they are they are growing chrysanthemum plant in the aeroponic it doesn't make any economical sense if you want to do the aeroponic this is applicable only for the potato seed production and that's only the breeder seed production because this is expensive material and then this mini tube micro tuber has come you will grow here in the net house and this way and then you will do the field trial and then you will give it to farmer this is the economics how and why i am saying to you you have to focus on the breeder seed and now you can decide as per your budget what you do micro propagation plant into tissue culture lab multiply for six months and six to eight cycles so suppose any tissue culture person it is not like a potato will come in the month of uh, October, then only the work will start. Whole year, they keep multiplying our potato tissue culture plant. And these tissue culture in vitro plant, they will transplant only in the month of October inside the net house or inside the aeroponic unit. So hardening of the soil in rotary media, because in vitro plant that cannot directly go. So sometimes we harden them in the rotary media and especially it will be cocoa peat media because this will be the disease free media or you can the sterile media. And then whatever first year you will harvest the tuber that will be known as a breeder seed. So here I am putting only six rupees, but eight to ten rupees easily if it is a processing variety. So you will harvest. And uh, second year, this breeder seed, whatever will give 40,000 breeder uh, tuber you can get. This is called foundation one, generally farmer call it. It's coming from the breeder seed. So if one acre you are growing this thing, you will uh, harvest around 40,000 breeder seed. Uh, seed requirement will be there in one acre and here you can get around 100 quintal productivity minimum and this foundation one in the market you can sell at the rate of 52 rupees per kg and if you do not have aeroponics swallows all these things just buy foundation one from somewhere government center i, I know in up government is giving subsidy also uh, some money they are giving some people will help them to multiply the potato seeds you can meet your direct district horticulture officer and then if you are coming to next generation, third year, 14 quintal seed requirement will be for one acre. And if you grow in one acre, you will harvest more than 120 quintal. And then you can sell F2 seed at the rate of 32 rupees per kg. So just buy F1, make F2, sell as a this price. And even though that's not your possible, then next, uh, you can get again 14 quintal seeds for one acre in open field and you will harvest and the certified seed this will be which farmer buy and you can sell at 14 rupees per kg these are the, these steps some farmer does because he doesn't have tissue culture cocoa peat this idea farmer is not able to understand these economics and here the scope for the agriculture students if you understand this thing you can go upstairs connect the farmer or fpos provide them seeds so that you can ensure that my market is a fix just i have to meet their order but our traditional UP farmer, what does, they buy these 14 or 15 rupee kg seeds and they grow every year. And once their crop will come, they go in the market because this is not processing variety, four, five, six rupees kg they sell in the market. And that's why they feel this is not a profitable crop. So you have to see in this chain where you want to stand and which step you would like to do. But you need lots of research and knowledge, but this is the only the summary success summary for the entrepreneur, how you want to start and how you want to make the money and what will be your revenue model. Because doing this kind of thing, we need to install the net house, and which is also one investment, drip irrigation. So you need to have connection with the tissue culture lab also. So all those things you have to do, fine tuning, but wherever, which step you will involve, that much money you will make. So being entrepreneur, I want you should involve at least with bitter seed between F2 seeds here which is not required much money, but you can make and your degree and all those things will be justified. Do the virus indexing, do all the requ requisite step and you can ensure the good quality of tuber seed. I'm sure next year onward, all the people will come by themselves. No need to do the marketing also. So how this plant, micro plant will look like this, then here 10% mortality will be there. Here you can see eight to 12 mini tuber per plant. 
is the seeds mini tuber and then these tuber goes to the field they will grow like this so these are the you can see any new variety is coming the market then it takes long time because every year you cannot grow across the year so from only one year from october to march you can grow so it will take five to six year time to get these seeds to the market or to the farmer so now you might have read i cpr is similar has made a neel kant variety which is a purple color potato and many people are just want to use that potato seed but they are not getting in the market because it is in between the chain maybe after 3 4 year you will getting in the market so uh, little bit know about the tissue culture any plant part you can use as expert but here we are using only internal in potato and we are just very easy no leaf no sterilization just in vitro plant just cut it and just keep multiplying keep multiplying and you will be able to make the all the mini plant like this So no need to go all these step. It's very simple, and mind it. The Solanaceae family, like uh, tobacco, uh, potato, uh, tomato, all these things are from Solanaceae family. Solanaceae family tissue culture is very much easy. So it's very easy task. Any in rural area also you can start. Now you see, see what is our problem in potato seeds. So in plain or hills, I have compared. You see the productivity which I was explaining earlier. The late blight is one of the disease which comes. Then quality seeds. Uh, people do not get that's why their production is less and many other region are also there so in hilly area you can see it's less than 30 but in plain area like uh, gujarat they are making more than 40 ton per hectare this is a productivity but these all the factor matters ki how many seeds you are making what are the climate what is the disease how the soil so now holistic step you understand if you see the your calendar like academic calendar is our crop calendar so how we start so some people do the kharif kharif crop which is uh, it's not storable they are just selling in the market because they will sow in the october and immediately in the month of november december onward because most of the crop is generally 120 days crop so after 3 month you can sell your crop in the market so some people like uh, in uh, hassan karnataka those way they do in the summer and 90 days they harvest because that's why new potato is small in size farmer want to face the better price in the market so they do not allow the tuber to grow maximum size that's why new potato will be always small either you sell anything at 10 rupee kg and a big size or you sell a small thing at 20 rupee kg so all these economics are there in agriculture you need to understand right time is more important than the yield problem in their uh, icr system in, in the indian agriculture system we have been taught always for the yield led agriculture extension increase the productivity bring some uh, new variety uh, your production will increase but this production itself is a you know uh, bad thing for the farmer more production means the seasonal glut seasonal glut means he is not getting the good price so i would suggest rather than the yield led extension we should focus on the market led extension which crop you want to grow in which season though your productivity will be less even half but you are getting double price go for this and that's what entrepreneur people do they never look for the traditional crop cycle now you do any crop you can go across the year just you have to provide the location so like uh, tomato we are getting in sola and kullu and those places because we have a suitable climate there and those farmer making much better price from the tomato but once the up farmer will grow tomato he will not make up that much profit so that way you have to think so this is a one cycle here kharif potato then somebody is doing early rabi and this is traditional rabi which in up farmer does in october november they will do sowing and they will harvest in the february march and here the season that will come during the march that's why always in the market potato will be very cheap in the march but this one you can say punjab farmer does they will do because uh, the low temperature of winter start with the uh, punjab so this farmer only for 80 90 they they grow and they harvest and in the month of december you will get the new potato in the market and they are getting better price than the up farmer and apart from that some farmer are here also or even some hilly area because in hilly area as per altitude they grow the potato in summer and they harvest and they sell and this is very much high demand but here productivity will be less but market price will be the very high so you can decide as per your location as per your planning in which season you want to grow and accordingly you get the price now after harvesting the new things will come in storage 
and in india uh, uh, it depend ki what you are going to store and in india more than 90% of our cold storage has been made only for the cold storage which we are realizing now the new cold storage is coming on different uh, kind of uh, commodities like onion is can be also stored in the cold storage but so far in india we lack such kind of infrastructure and that's why in during the diwali or eid the onion price is always at the rupees or something more but now you can say since last two year the onion price is not going beyond 60 rupees though you are agriculture student you have to take care of all these economics thread what's happening because nafed is now buying onion uh, in the month of april or may when the summer onion harvesting is going on and they are storing it and whenever deficit is in the market they are releasing solely solely so that's why onion challenges in india we have stabilized somehow up to some extent but still i think there is a scope of doing lots of onion storage method but here we are talking about the potato so you can see the potato seed when you are storing then you have to use very low temperature because it's a very small the lots of water if you will dehydrate it it will sink in so you have to use more than 90% humidity and 2 to 4 degrees centigrade temperature potato for fresh consumption as i said punjab farmer does 4 to 5 degree but generally very few people use this thing because as the temperature will be low electricity cost will be high so you have to think economical also potato for chipping like processing and all those things they use 7 to 10 degree this is mostly international market they uh, in the this country they use this kind of temperature and 8 to 10 degree in india uh, mostly we use uh, 10 to 12 degree because these are people want to save electricity so those people who have cold storage they do not use very low temperature potato for french fry is 5 to 8 degree and potato for granulation of mess as the potato flag 5 to 7 degree why it is so because if you will keep higher temperature the potato starch will degrade into the glucose that will become mess uh, sweet in the taste which will not desired character and where uh, potato must be treated with the spout inhibitor at a storage temperature between uh, above 4 degree that cipc i am talking here cipc like if you will buy potato from market also you keep in your house and don't use it the sprouting will start and this is another challenge and um, that's why you use some anti sprouting agent so that the sprouting will inhibit so you can increase the shelf life of potato so uh, in india we are using cipc but cipc is a one chemical which is being provided by only one company in india that is upl urja somewhere they call it their brand name so and they are very sophisticated only these company people they will come and spray do the fogging and this is a thing uh, like 30 ml per ton or 30 ppm is acceptable and they in india say we do not eat peel so we can remove it so this is safe but the european country they have banned it and they say it is carcinogenic and we are not supposed to use such kind of chemical for our potato storage but in india there is no other alternative i have discussed with the cpr scientists they call it cost hardly 40 paise per kg the cost and this is the cheapest way of potato storage but still somebody is ready to pay for health a better price so what can be alternative that is the one uh, you know this is scope i am giving if somebody of you want to work how we can store for the longer duration potato this is a your research topic can be and i know in when i was israel one scientist was working on the mint spray they were spraying the mint oil in the potato storage is herbal origin and this is not possible but uh, in in mint also the one constituent because these people they do not tell they patent and they keep the secret but whatever i could dig what is the mode of action there is one carbon oil is present in the mint and that carbon oil is uh, coming uh, affecting the apoptosis so this is some linkage when the new sprouting is happening this carbon oil is inhibiting those sprouting so that's which kind of substitute of uh, cipc but i am sure in india is such a big biodiversity many other chemical or herbal source we can invent and that can be also very good opportunity for any entrepreneur yeah so now uh, come to the summary what are the things what are the scope for you and how you can increase the potato productivity so suitable site selection as i said gujarat is the best location so i don't know from which part you belong and each and every person can observe and you know do the what we call feasibility study of the business model whether this will be suitable for you to get on that the certified quality seeds if you are getting good quality seed i know up farmer they never use the quality seed they are growing and replicating for 8 to 10 generation but generally 5 to 6 generation that is maximum 
and a up farmer they cut the potato in the pieces and uh, then they treat some fungicide and just sow them you should never cut the potato while sowing let the come whole potato as a seed in haryana the people they never cut so, but if you say to save the economics we are doing all this desi jugad but this desi jugad is affecting our productivity and the best thing you know in bengal and assam they eat growing lots of potato in assam the brahmaputra went the flood comes and after flood the land is very fertile in the river bank so they are also getting very good kind of potato but the problem with those seed, those states they are not able to grow the potato seeds why because the winter is not very low there so those people they are growing potato but for potato seed they are always dependent on the haryana and up uh, haryana and punjab and punjab has holding the command across india for the potato seed production if you will go and trace the potato seeds coming from which places somehow punjab will be the origin and most of the time uh, i have been come to know from the northeast they are not getting even paying the good prices they do not get the quality seeds because they do not know how to do virus indexing how they are making they are not able to come and visit here so all these are lacuna i am just sharing you know where business opportunity lies and how you will address it so if you are making the good potato seed easily the bengal assam is more closer to you transportation cost will be the less so you can also think about when you just go assam bengal meet the farmer and maybe some of the students from in your batch will be from those places make a joint venture and do such kind of a startup then productive and processing variety as i said um, this again here is the lacuna in, uh, in india whatever processing variety these are very outdated uh, like chitpuna 1 2 3 4 swana fry home these are the only major variety we know but lr variety lady rosetta solentum these are the private varieties these private companies they are bringing from the dutch or european company and they are going with the contact farming and that's it means but in india we still we do not have a good processing variety so i think here also but since we are not into r and d so this is a good challenge or you can the task for our research scientists micro irrigation system if you are going to control the irrigation uh, rather than because most of the our farmer they do the flood irrigation when you do the flood irrigation you are going to increase the humidity in the plant vicinity and that's why because of high humidity you get fungal infection so if you are going to use the drip irrigation you can minimize the risk of the late blight and early blight also and moreover sometime rain also can be during winter so that is beyond our control but these are the some issues also you can minimize and nutrient management of course many farmer they come from sikkim they say that we are not getting good tuber side you know in um, agriculture the you need a phosphorus for any tuber crop so since they are uh, into organic state they do want to use the not they do not want to use the fertilizer so they their soil is lacking in the phosphorus and that's why the tuber size they stop coming and uh, similarly uh, weather stations crop management these are very much important as per their weather you should use the pesticide or any fertilizer information and communication degree iot as i said when the we do um, spray of any uh, you know dehalination any white fly infection come then if you are into seed production so only through iot you can inform immediately to minimize and take the desired action and grading and sorting this is another because in the market the seed size depend on the grading size packaging and transportation also these are the very important thing because lots of damaging happening because we are just throwing potato bags and is always making the water and then is rotten in and tuber treatment also cipc all these are the steps where you need to take care in the potato supply chain and for the good quality of seeds so this is a one big issue and if you not have good quality seed you will not get the desired yield so these are the importance of potato seeds and now there are some iot because you people are in new generation students so i just want to sort in solentana this is a one uh, european country this plastic tuber you just sow in the soil just like that and it will uh, calibrate your with the mobile and uh, it will be a full battery operated it will tell how much soil moisture is there how much co2 and uh, all this kind of precision accordingly you can take and uh, temperature also how much soil temperature is there as i said if your temperature is not below 20 you will not get a tuberization will not initiate so all those kind of thing real time monitoring you can do by using your mobile and sometime you don't know whether this is right time to harvest or not crop these are random plot method harvest just random plant put 
and the system it will scan and it will measure the weight and it will tell if today you are going to harvest your full field this more production will come so accordingly farmer can decide ki whether i should harvest now or 10 20 days later and these are the some company like uh, pepsi and those people they use ki whether how is uniform your stars and how uniform your irrigation was there because where more glucose will be there the maillard reaction and the chips will become white like in holy you people might be making the chips with the table purpose potato after frying that will become a black color on the periphery but whatever lace chips you are buying in the market that will be completely you know yellow or white so that is the reason because of maillard reaction so you have uh reducing sugar should be the less in the processing variety and sulfur also but french fry we are eating sometime mcdonald people they give very cheap and not a very good quality so you can connect here this kind of things will come so but if good quality of french fry it will be uniform in color so another thing um, uh, aeroponic technology i want to say we earlier we used to grow this kind of potato in the net house so here what happen when you are harvest any plant so some plant tuber will be big some will be small so and then you have to do the grading but here in aeroponic when you lift it you can pluck and choose ki what is the optimum size so what will happen you are going to make a uniform breeder size plus you will be having more number of breeder tuber because you are not going to kill the plant in between you can keep harvesting aeroponic so this is a normal thing here the latter will go it will give the fogger and mister and here a npk and all those thing will be there and root will be hanging and you can harvest so this is just a simple layout of aeroponic here no media only fertilizer mixture we use and this is like air misting so our uh, this root should be always uh, moisture should be there but you need a 24 hour electricity here in the village area you cannot make and electricity is not there it will not work you need a power backup so it's with sophisticated technology and uh, here in uh, karnal in haryana we have a potato technology center there we have make 1200 square meter area is three unit with high tech fan pad system so at least two to three times they want to grow potato because inside the fan pad greenhouse you can grow you can reduce that microclimate and of course it is close environment so there won't be any insect uh, infestation and here you can see all these are nozzles are there and this is styrofoam and here this way you can harvest the potato field and now in haryana and punjab many startups are they are working but of course it will be uh, i know this project cost was around 1.67 cr and they had paid 20 lakh rupees to cpri similar for the technology transfer if your university was planning to start such kind of infrastructure i don't know but in india the system is now government institutes in spite of having uh, all those things tax payer money they are giving uh, tax uh, technology transfer and even they charge the royalty also so i don't know uh, as an entrepreneur whether you can avail or not but yes as institutes you can avail such kind of infrastructure and now i think recently in haryana the government is giving the aeroponic and hydroponic subsidies also so what no means this is a normal tradition in india but being a smart farmer you need to understand whether it is viable business model or not so that is very much important so here you can see this is punjab uh, aeroponic unit and here you can see the different size of potato tuber So you can harvest the uniform size, and these are the different steps. The in vitro plant, then it will grow like this, okay, and then the plant will grow like this, and the tuber will initiate, and this way different color tuber, and you can harvest it. So what will be the benefit of uh, aeroponic? It will be high multiplication rate. Generally, we used to make 10 to 12 tuber in the normal net house, but here you can make more than 40 to 60. It depends on the varietal character. Around average, you can say 40 minimum. one minute tuber you can generate from one plant soil pathogen will be not there no soil so no pathogen will be there in terms of the per sheet production cost effectiveness will be the less and saving in vitro plantlet whatever mortality was very high in the net house saving water and natural minerals and desired size of net tuber these are the benefit now being indian there is something jugar um, we tried here in karnal itself uh, this stuff system is there and here rather than using aero that media we are using Uh, coco peat media and we are making the breeder seed production just like this also even uh, this center people the, here in india karnal we have lots of rice miller so we have lots of uh, you know uh, seed has of rice paddy paddy straw and uh, ash also from the rice miller so we tried to make some kind of uh, seed production in that kind of media also but the result was okay but production was not good as coco peat media so always look the substitute also 
So this is this they had pitted with the CPRI, but the just for your knowledge, I'm saying so you can do the innovation at any level, growing media, tuber, supply chain, virus indexing, whatever you wish. There are lots of the scopes are there. So here's the conclusion. Here you can see the normal traditional protocol uh, skin, and here you can see. But every technology has some limitation also. Here you can see this screen is very tough, the dark in brown, but here very light. Why it is so? Because you know, in soil, you have a, after carbon, silica is most abundant element in the earth crust. So in skin development, as I showed in the beginning, I have worked on the potato skin development and planta that research paper came. So this silica is helping in the very proper seed development. But uh, here, silica nahi hai, to aapka skin very delicate hota hai, just you can feel like your, your nail also. So these are very you know, delicate, you can say, but here are robust. And here you can see the green color also because the layering or covering was not done in the field. In this case, sunlight is coming from sunlight. It will be solar in the chakor. So, if you buy from the market, you can cut it off. It is a neurotoxin. It will not be able to eat it. So, that's it. Uh, within limited time, whatever I could share my experience related to potato, I tried my best to compile. And I would be more than happy if any question will be there related to this talk. Thank, thank you, you thank you so much sir in a very short duration you have covered so many of topic you have discussed about the potato production area their average yield the production um, uh, uh, the versatility of their production the types of potato uh, you are you have elaborated on potato value addition gaps for the potato growers potato crop requirements potato uh, business success and opportunity in the india and in the abroad also potato business and how to increase the potato farmers incomes uh, you have discussed several type of hydroponics and uh, growing environment of the potato also so i would like to request um, uh, one of the coordinator, Dr. Ganesh Dutt Bhatt, sir, to kindly facilitate our speaker with a momento of love. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, sir, for uh, your valuable talk on uh, agri entrepreneurship opportunities on uh, potato seed production. Uh, you have well uh, elaborated the scope of agri startup and the uh, how production, branding, packaging, supply chain, and marketing links play an important role to establishment of the successful venture. You have uh, revealed about uh, ongoing efforts by lots of research projects to attract the uh, youth towards a startup and uh, how the support from government helps to establish business. Uh, uh, sir, please take our token of appreciation from uh, innovation and uh, entrepreneurship cell. Uh, Gaurav sir, can you please share? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you yes, so sir. much, sir. So I would like uh, to request um, Jyoti, ma'am, to kindly provide the vote of thanks. Uh, now, I uh, Jyoti, ma'am, is there. Uh, I request to Dr. Jyoti, ma'am, please uh, share your vote of thanks. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, I, Dr. Jyoti Yadav, on uh, behalf of School of Agriculture, I wish to uh, express my gratitude to Dr. Akhilesh Kumar, sir, for uh, accepting invitation and providing vast knowledge on agri-entrepreneurship opportunity in potato seed production. For making uh, today's event good and informative session to take out time from your busy schedule. Uh, so you have provided us with valuable knowledge and informed information in enriching the potato seed production. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Dr. But I'm surprised there is no question. Students understood everything or they have not understood anything. A student can ask your question by unmuting yourself. Okay, sir. There is no question. So I have sir, collected uh, feedback feedback form in the chat box. You can provide your feedback, um, and if you have you have any query, you can um, uh, write to me and Ganesh sir. We will uh, 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 refer to and we will send to the Dr. Akhilesh sir 
to resolve your query. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you.